Hey guys, Metko here from DN Models and today we're unboxing upgrade set for AMK's MiG-31BM, the first version of Foxhound released by that relatively new company on the market. We have a thin box resembling chocolate candy package in size and shape rather than an upgrade set for a scale model. This add-on package here comes as a slight improvement over the standard kit that AMK released with few minor but still important improvements featured inside. We have 11 die-cast parts included, upgrade decal set, upgrade photo etch set and tinted canopy parts. Not much at first glance, but on the built model, a reason to impress a lot more with altered appearance of a more realistic MiG-31. On the back of the box we have a thorough description slash instruction sheet for what we have inside. First comes the seats which are improved by many photo etch parts. Eventually you can find those made from resin, but still this is a genuine AMK set which I think will be the better choice. Something important and hard to be replicated is the rubber pink ceiling on the canopy typical for Russian jets. Then we have the Sloan Raider made from photo edge and small angle of attack sensors. Hopefully once built the nose will be positionable so to not disrupt the streamline of the built Foxhound kit. We have also decals for the cockpit which isn't much of an upgrade in my opinion or at least not one to be used at its fullest. Also, quite soon, I'm guessing, we'll have few options for resin cockpits available on the market too. Opening the box once more we get the feeling that this is some kind of a present, not an upgrade set. Very neatly arranged are the different upgrade parts inside, metal ones being in a plastic box and other ones carefully separated one from another. The most attractive of them is of course the plastic case that holds the die-cast stuff. This set is usable for both AMK Foxhound variants 88003 and 88008. We have 11 of them described on the outside of the box. The little casting is done to fit everything perfectly just like a glove. Nice touch from AMK. Inside we have a description for which part is supposed to be exchanged with which from the standard plastic ones. Quite easy to be comprehended and used. Metal parts are coated with ZDC and kit parts are with their original coats. Surprisingly the kit features very tiny and delicate metal rods. They are nearly perfect with just little work needed to make them an exact replica of the real thing. There will be some space for super detailing from the scratch maniacs of course. Everything is done in a way to avoid confusion and mistakes. It happens to the best of us and AMK took that under consideration. Plus it is pleasant when you see such devotion from a company. Obviously AMK are not just another company but something more. If you still wonder why you might need those, just remember how big is MiG-31 in reality and even 48 times smaller, it still will need a good support. Next we have the clear parts, this time made from different material than what we are used to. They look kind of smoked, a brownish or reddish in appearance. And that goes for all the clear parts here. That probably isn't exactly the case with the real aircraft, especially when we're talking about headlights. However, compared to the standard clear parts, the most obvious difference comes for the canopy clears, where this upgrade set is a spot-on solution. MiG-31 and not only, but most of the Russian jets features not so state-of-the-art technology when it comes down to clear parts. Don't mistake this color for the tinted F-16 or F-22 tinted canopies. F-fighters feature gold dust for several reasons and are expensive. This here is due to the lack of good quality materials and they suffer with time. So this tint is time related feature not technology innovation. Whatever the case though, this is 
the correct appearance. In my opinion, this is a very important add-on. In terms of realism, the most important one in the set for sure. Then we have a big decal sheet with few options on it. It is not clear who printed that, it might be AMK themselves. What is clear is that it is from 2016, so relatively new. We have the pink rubber material made into decals here, for both inside and out of the canopy. Clever when you want to display yours open. Then we have two types of red starts, all in new style. Alongside with those, the name written in Russian that sits on the intakes of the MiG-31 and on TU-160s. And of course, several number types. Thick and thin scripts, blue and red, with and without white outlines. Just beautiful. The cockpit decals are here too and I share my opinion about those already. I wouldn't use all of them, just partially and with caution. Sometimes they can do more harm than help in terms of realism. Overall, quite a big sheet and substantially bigger than the one we get with the AMK 88003 kit. I still cannot tell is there a quality difference, but here we have an abundance, which is always good. Photo Edge comes next. As far as I'm informed, we can find this very same set in the AMK BBS version of the Foxhound. If that is the truth, it is very nice move from the company to offer BM owners to improve theirs as well. Mostly, we have seat details, but there is this long pulse Doppler radar called Flash Dance by NATO Coats. This is the nervous system of the Fox Sound. The photo white sheet is thin and delicate, with seat and radar details clearly visible and depicted. We have ejection handles that goes between the legs of the pilot and the operator, which is also an attractive part of the Russian military jet cockpits. Not the best PE set that I've seen, but definitely more than a decent one. I like it a lot. So in case you own the BM BSM kit AMK88003, having this box with goodies is a must in my opinion. Hobby Boss with their MiG-31 are definitely inferior. The kit features a lot of mistakes and is not comparable with this one. With this small set here you will forge that fact for good. My deepest admirations to the AMK guys who show how the kits are supposed to be done nowadays. No mediocrity, no compromises. I hope you liked this short review. Hit the like button if you did. Comment down below and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.